Hello everybody, here we are once again with another awesome video tutorial for webmasters courtesy of developphp.com. Now this one's called Flawless Active Page CSS Menu Marking using PHP Dynamics by Adam Corey. That's me. This tutorial has come to be due to a forum post at developphp.com where Skatronic, which he has a pretty cool URL too. I don't usually do this, but if you're into skateboarding and music, this is the site for you because it brings skateboarding and music together. Skatronics.com. I just thought he had a cool site, cool unique things going on, so I thought I'd throw it out there. If anybody's into skateboarding or uh, music, you'll probably dig that site a whole bunch. He asks, is there a tutorial on here how to make menu markers for a PHP or HTML site? I searched it and I didn't see one. If not, can somebody maybe make one? Thanks. So that's why I'm making this tutorial, because I'm going to show you guys how to make menu markers for your HTML, CSS websites. We're going to use a little bit of PHP Dynamics to keep things nice and slim and easy. And also, Tech Spectrum seconded the motion for this to be a, a tutorial. So we're putting that into motion, and this is what we have. And I also make sure it validated through the CSS and the HTML. And if that's not enough, well, first of all, you're getting two tutorials in one here. You're going to learn how to make menu markers. So when I click on Partners, you see Partners stays active. It's lit up, and the person knows they're on the Partners page just by the button itself. And that's the first thing you're going to learn. So whether you have a menu that's set up on top, maybe your menu is vertical going down the left side or something, and you want the buttons to stay lit up if they're on that page, this is the tutorial for you and this also shows how to sync the button right into the page so I offer you a little trick on how to make this seamless to where when they click this button it goes to that page there's no line there and the button just blends right into the element that's under it it's, it's awesome you're going to love it okay and just for extra added assurance I went ahead and make sure that Google Chrome it displays correctly Internet Explorer it displays correctly everything works exactly as it should Firefox everything displays as it should and Opera everything displays just like it should and it all looks the same throughout all the different browsers alright now let's rock and roll and talk about this code logic and how these things are set up you'll notice that the home page is very simple much like any other home page and the only thing that is dynamic about it is this menu template include here. We're using PHP to include once a file called menu template.php. Now, we're doing that. So, and if you ever want to change, you'll notice this website only has four pages. But say you had a website with eight or ten pages. And say you wanted to change the design or the maybe what this link says. Or maybe you want to add one more button up here. You won't have to do it on all four pages. That's why we use that menu include. If you want to add another button to your menu, change what one of the button labels say, where it points to, what URL it navigates to, anything like that, you change it in one spot, one time, in one file, and it's updated on all eight pages, all four pages, all 50 pages of your website if you're using a smart include menu template. So this whole menu you see here is not static in the page and you can tell that by looking at the index file the div ID menu container only contains where we include the menu template and the menu template is here and I'm going to discuss that in one minute and that's where the, the dynamics are happening all the dynamics for making this menu possible are happening there and CSS we have a CSS style sheet that is used for styling up the website the way those buttons look where they're located and I got that seamless effect to where buttons blend right into the page by using padding one pixel on that container and I'll I'll explain all of that in just a second so if you look at all four pages they're all relatively the same the contact page partners page services page and index page all pretty much look the same and they're all bringing in that menu template like I said you only want to have to change things in one file one time to affect all the different various pages otherwise you're having to open 12 pages in Dreamweaver and change 
one little thing on every one of those pages that's retarded. So you use a menu template if you can. Okay, let's just explain the style sheet real quick. You can see I'm affecting the body tag on the page, on all my pages, setting the margin top 40 pixels, font to Arial, the font size I want to 14. So we can set a font size and a font family and all that stuff in the body tag if you want. And that menu container you can see is on all the pages here, div ID menu container. So in the style sheet, this styling here is affecting that container. This container right here is being affected by this styling here and here. And this one, you see a little A on the end? That affects only links that are inside of the menu container. So you can style just the link tags if there are any in there, and that's what I'm doing. So that's how I get it to have padding so the letters aren't so close up to the buttons. You know what I'm saying? It gives the buttons a little room in there. And also, the padding bottom one pixel, that's what gives it, look, watch if I change this to zero. I'm going to FTP it up and then refresh. Okay, now let's refresh here. And now you can see there's the line. It appeared, and you don't have a seamless integration of button into the div under it. Under it. And that's a trick not many people know about, so that's why I'm throwing that one in free. And let's refresh and see that's how I achieve that effect it's very simple and uh, the text decoration on all links inside of the menu container I wanted no underline so I set that right there now here the menu container links hover you put this style so when they hover over a link you see it looks like the like the active button really you can make that black you can make it pink on hover. You can make the letters in there any color you want right here. Change that color will change the text and this will change the background color. Now here we have uh, and so that's it for menu container S CSS styling. Uh, next thing we have is the menu buttons. So when the menu buttons are not active this is the styling they have which would be these here. These three are not active and I'm not hovering over them right now. So they're a dark blue with white, white font. And then when they're active, we assign my active button on the page that's active using this menu template.php file, which I'm going to explain in just a second. When the PHP file renders dynamics it needs, it sets a different class on the active page, which is this class right here my active button which gets a background of whatever you want and a color text whatever you want I chose to use the same color as my body the div that's the body section and sync it up to where there was a seamless layout of button into page I think it's a really cool effect when you do that now let's uh, discuss the last little bit here which is the body container which is not anything really relevant to what we're doing except that it does render out this nice blue body and matches the color of my buttons when they're active and when they're hovered you see so my body container is set up to match that so everything syncs up nice and uh, here I gave my padding of the inner body content which is this div here so you can see there's div body container which is set up to be that blue box with the gray border then inside of it there's another div container and that is simply set to have a padding so it's not so close up on that gray border on the edge of the box see here right there that space right in between that first word and the edge of the box that's that padding I set right there and that's all that's in there and that's the style sheet now everything you've seen so far is basic HTML and basic CSS now here you might be thinking I'm saving the hardest thing for last. No, 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 no. This is very simple. Watch this. Menu template.php only contains this many lines. And before I even explain what the PHP is doing, I'm going to explain what the HTML output of this page is doing. You can see there's four links here. And contrary to what a lot of CSS gurus think, you don't always have to use an unordered list and list elements to create nice menus. 
you can actually just use the A tag. So I think it's a lot smarter to get rid of all that UL and LI and you can do horizontal and vertical whatever you want. You just gotta set the CSS up right. And it all validates the W3C. So you don't really need the unordered list. You don't really need the the LI elements in there. If you're gonna make any any kind of CSS menus really, even drop downs or anything like that. They can all be div separated. And it all still validate or whatever. Okay, so basically What's happening is I'm laying in four links here. It's very simple. And the only thing dynamic about these links is the class is dynamic. You can see, let's go up into the PHP now, and you'll see that we initialize the page variables so there are no errors. Actually, we can remove that because we're putting in default values. So these aren't really being initialized, which they are being initialized, but we're putting default values in them. The default values in all of these is my buttons which gives it the normal class in the CSS style right here for the buttons and then here's my active button and let me show you how we get that going now here's the only semi tricky sort of thing about this whole little application is getting the menu link ID and the way I achieved that is basically what I'm trying to do here was get just what the page name is so if I'm on the services page what my logic was telling me was to I have to get this page name in order to do this so I had to get this services on partners I wanted to get just this partners so I used PHP which PHP is really handy and has all kind of built-in functions to do all kind of cool stuff and the base name uh, function you can research at php.net basically what that does is it gets the base name of the file and server PHP self this renders in the full path or the URL that's in the browser and so it'll grab everything the whole path to this file on your server so what you do is you get base name to remove all of the path stuff so basically base name is going to remove all the path stuff in that string and just leave you with index.php or say services.php that'll be the variable here so to remove the dot PHP I just laid in the second argument there for the base name function which will allow it to remove that extension which leaves me with just index just services just partners that's what that variable will hold because this is removing the path base name is removing the path and it's also helping us remove the extension so we're left with just the page name that we can use to render out dynamically which of these links should have the active page styling on it you get it the active link button styling on it so we just say if menu link equals index or menu link ID equals index index equals my active button it switches from up top where the default my buttons it switches it to my active button so when it renders down here it will know that that's the active page else if menu link ID equals services page services equals my active button else if blah 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 for however many pages you have and you can also use PHP's switch and break statements here to accomplish this logic that you need to evaluate which page and which page ID but I think if and else condition statements work nice and fast you won't have any problems with that but you can substitute this for switch break statements if you're if you're good with PHP you can substitute this with switch break to evaluate what the uh, menu link ID is so that's how it works okay so I hope this was helpful to a few of you guys and we'll see you next lesson bye bye